Lutheran Women's Missionary League. And these women sponsor mission efforts. And these efforts reach people around the world with their mites. And they collect them. I have one here. I have Donna's with me here. And Donna put some change in these. And these boxes here go home with the women of the LWML. What's a mite box? I'm glad you asked. Every lady of the congregation who's a part of the LWML receives a mite box. It's a small box that they use change in. It looks something like this, although this is much larger than what the ladies use. Uh, this is the box that sits in the back of church here in our sanctuary. Now, back in 1928, each woman in every congregation received a mite box if she participated in the LWML Ladies' Aid. Now, recipients from 92 societies, meaning 92 congregations, gathered their mite boxes together. Now, mind you, it was 1928. The money inside those boxes was $6,651.31. In 1928. Now, the mission goal for this triennium, meaning 2021 to 2023, is $2.1 million from mites, from these mite boxes. Pocket change. But add it up from all the ladies in all the societies and our whole synod. That goal of $2.1 million has been reached in the past. And they're on their way this triennium, because as of today, those mites have added up to $1.6 million that's been collected and distributed to over 28 different mission projects, all from little change in mite boxes. So that's what a mite box is. Let's get back to our sermon. Now, what do they do with that money? They fund missions. But what's the overriding theme of these missions or the, the thread that ties them all together? It's helping people hear the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that leads very nicely into my text for this morning, the Bible verse that I chose for our LWML Sunday, and that's the one you heard read earlier, Romans 8. And in Romans 8, listen to verse 31 one more time. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Now, the message of salvation, as you know, is probably the most important thing that we will ever hear in our lives, and something that we are called to share with others too. Now, if you ask me to summarize the gospel message in one sentence, I probably could not because, as you know, I am a wordy person. So let's ask Paul if he can sum up the message in four words. And he does with the verse I just read. Because in that verse are four words that sums everything up. God is for us. 